Yes, one, two, three. Yay! Hello, Susanna. <laughs> we are live, Susanna. Yes. We are. I'm so happy to be here with you. Uh, really, a lot. And uh, and so happy to make this live with you with a big, big topic. Yes, this is the topic about controlling the effect you can have on your world. So this is a big topic, I think, because there is control, effect, and more many other things. So the topic is, are you controlling the effect you can have on the world? Can you tell something about this, please? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here with me, Massimiliana. Um, yes. who is, she's also one of the amazing pragmatic practitioners. She's working as a psychologist yes, really, and worldwide. And um, I'm so happy to create, you know, with her, she's creating a, a pragmatic practitioner class with me in in uh, in Italy so I'm very excited about so we were like okay let's have a conversation about this topic um that I'm very excited about you, you make this scoop now I make what <laughs> you made the scoop now <laughs> <laughs> about Florence and the class <laughs> I would say yes Maybe later now all the people know this. So, okay. Yes. <laughs> Let's do exactly. it. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, it's it's really interesting the you know, control part. It's like, I'm sure yes. none of you who are listening to this have ever no. in your life done control. No, 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 no. No, no queen of control. No. Never, 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 never. never. ever. The queen of men. This Never. is such a big part of how we have learned to create anything, everything yes. from our parents, from our teachers, the people we grew up with. It's like to be able to create a result, whatever that result is, I have to control men. But then looking at how much energy this takes. How much of your creativity it costs you, how much of you and what you be this costs you is enormous. And then also looking at, does it actually work? Me controlling mm -hmm. everything, does this actually create the effect, the result that I'm looking for? Seldom. Actually, as good as never. But we still mm -hmm. keep on doing it. Why? Because there's like almost no one who presents us with a different possibility than controlling. So what is beyond controlling? Beyond controlling, there is creating. Yeah. So when you notice yourself controlling, first of all, great that you notice it. And then <laughs> you can ask, okay, so if I wouldn't control, what could I create? Yes. And what could I create is like, okay, that's that already, just the question, what can I create is, oh, it opens up so much. It creates relaxation. It creates more space. Oh, it just creates a, okay, I don't know what I can create. I don't have an answer, but there is something. There is something. So going with that, and then the other part where we said controlling your if the effect you can have on the world, oh my goodness. It's like, if you, let's say, um, have a profession, let's say, you know, you're a psychologist like us, yes. or you are a teacher or, you know, a, a nurse, any kind of profession you have and you go, okay, my only choice is to be normal, to be a normal nurse, a normal teacher, a normal psychologist, I, I have to hide where I'm being different. I have to hold back where I see things could be different. That's you controlling. Yes. That's you controlling the effect you can have on this world. And I know, I'm sure for you, Massimiliana, like, you know, as a psychologist and you starting to use the tools and work in a different way 
was that a bit challenging for you in the beginning not being totally. normal totally i remember i i had some conversation with you about this and uh, i have a <laughs> and you you're talking about what the, does this creating and uh, i remember that for me it was a choice and uh, a daily choice uh, about uh, okay uh, would i like to be a normal as others so nobody see me nobody can judge me judge me and uh, uh, in my in my office i can do whatever i want but uh, for the other people i'm a normal one and i remember a class with you in which uh, there was the 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 right voice for you and uh, i remember this conversation with you and i say no i now i want to choose the real me and the real me was uh, Yes, uh, I'm not normal, that's for sure. <laughs> and, uh, I, I want to create something uh, different that works for me. Yes, and this is uh, about uh, not controlling or be uh, have the awareness that I'm controlling and uh, what, what else is possible here. And then have, the awareness I that have the awareness that I'm controlling and then asking and choosing, hey, what yeah. else is possible? What else is possible? Yes, that's that's one of the points. And uh, another thing that uh, it's a uh, very big thing for me with you is uh, about conversation with you and about to be a pragmatic practitioner is uh, um, about uh, uh, what else is possible if if I really choose to be me beyond this reality. Yes, and uh, and it is pragmatic, <laughs> so easy, so simple, and a uh, lot of happiness. Uh, and so this is uh, I'm a queen of control. I I, I know this, uh, and but I realize, uh, as you say, that uh, it doesn't match to match uh, what I want to create in my life. Yes, that yeah. exactly it doesn't match what I want to create in my life. So, and that's mm -hmm. really cool to look at is like if you try to be a normal parent, a normal, like how they, how others expect you to be, it doesn't yes. create more in your life. It creates less. You have to, you have to limit so much of your creativity. And we just had a call an hour ago with um, people about business and creating your business and they work in normal businesses like different areas you know cars or computers and hospitals and they were like okay so how can i bring what i know into this area you know into this business that i'm involved in and they all had this point of view of oh no i have to hide i have to hold myself back because my pragmatic weird perspectives they might be judged they might be seen as weird people might not like it but that's where you make other people's points of view more relevant than what you could choose to be it's like you like yes. you you going and then we talked about okay so you you your different perspective your the tools you know the the way you see the world in a different way what changes has that created for your life? You know, and they all said, wow, it just created more ease. It created more money. It created everything being easier. Okay, so will you acknowledge that? Will you acknowledge the value of your difference and the way you see and create in a different way? Yes, okay. Get the energy of that. Like bathe in it. Be with this own it choose it and and they all went wow already just that choice even if i haven't been talking with these people at my workplace it, just that choice already oh, it created a different space for me yes you know okay. and and one person said she had an example she was um having a meeting with uh some other people that work for that company that she's involved in. And she said, I applied that. I used to make it so important 
to not be weird, to not, you know, use those tools that I've learned in my normal business, you know? Yes. Uh, and and she, she said, okay, no, this costs me too much. It's too expensive. It costs me my being. It costs me my freedom. It costs me my creativity. And she, before the meeting, she asked, what else is possible? What would it take for mm -hmm. this to be fun? What can I receive here? What can be created? And she not only asked those questions, she actually, this is happening. This is happening. I'm not being part of that insanity. I am choosing to be beyond it. Okay. So she went in with mm -hmm. that energy and she was so surprised. She's like, people listen to me. They actually received, they took me, like they, they saw the value in that. And then somebody tried to judge their colleague and she just looked at them and went, energetically no we're not going there and the person went okay and they changed direction so we underestimate the effect we can yes. have on the world by yes. just you know being being the weird things that we are and i saw this so often when i was working in psychiatry also and i went in the beginning oh i have like my only choice is to be normal like do a normal therapy thing and and it was so ah, depressing in a way because I'm like, oh, that's so boring. I'm like, I have to do, I have to exclude me. Like I only saw the choice of I have to exclude me and my creativity and my weirdness to do a good job. I'm like, wow, that can't be it. It's actually the other way around. So I let that go. And I'm like, okay, so let's include my, you know, weirdness and my different way of seeing the world and creating. And I realized, okay, then I can ask, so this patient, what can this patient hear? Yes. And I said that, and they're like, wow, thank you for being so weird. What you say actually helps me. So if I, if I would have tried to be normal, I wouldn't have been able to help them as much as I could. So we, if, we, if we're holding back our weirdness and our difference, we are actually depriving the world of the gifts we are and what we okay. contribute. So okay. what if we let that go and make a different mm -hmm. choice? Like, okay, the gift that we are always creates more for everyone who's willing to have okay. it. So let like, me so, yeah. mm -hmm. I would like to say something because one of the things that um, you told me, I think, maybe in the first call I, I did with you, was uh, we have to be the tools, not to use the tools. I say, what is this? I can use the tools, but be the tools, what is this? Yes. And uh, three days ago, okay, three days ago, we are dismissing our center. We are changing the, the place of our center. And the, the new place, uh, stop. No, it was no, no, uh, not, no working, possibility, not. not possibly to do, to go there. So we have to. We three days ago say, okay, I can do trauma drama. I remember every time trauma drama. Oh my god, I have no place. I have no center. And I say, no, this this doesn't match for me. Okay, what else is possible? I'm in a possibility. I'm a possibility in the world, and I had the possibility in this world and uh, today okay i signed for a new center <laughs> three days okay what else is possible only three days only three days and in a magic way and it was about uh, what uh, you you always say susanna be pragmatic not dramatic yes and uh, for me is a uh, yes why why i have to be dramatic if uh, it's not funny <laughs> it doesn't expand my world so why i have to be dramatic when i can be pragmatic so that what else is possible what are the possibilities that, that i'm not choosing here what else is possible and what is right here that i'm not getting and in three days uh, this morning they say yes at the new center okay and we will go there on the uh on in three days okay so wow. this is magic. this is not only about uh, the, the my job uh, as psychologist 
is about uh, living. And this is for me is uh, be a pragmatic that, addiction. That, yes. that's, thank you. I'm just going to say that again, because that's important. This is not just for you as a psychologist. This is for your yes. entire living for every yes. area of your life. Truly, truly okay. make everything easier and realize, okay, something showed up that didn't work. Your example. And in the beginning, most of us go to, oh my God, Dios mio. Like most of us do yeah, drama. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And it's okay. You know, it's okay. It's not wrong that you go into drama. You can even enjoy it and go, okay, you know what? Before I choose possibilities, I'm going to give myself five minutes of Oscar nominated drama and go for yes. it. Oh my Complain. God. Complain. Oh. Nothing works. I failed. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. The whole thing. And you can throw mm -hmm. pillows. You can do the whole thing. Yes. And then when you give yourself the space for the drama and you had enough fun and you acknowledge. So truth, did I have fun mm -hmm. with the drama that I was choosing? Oops. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy the drama. You know, that's so important to acknowledge. If you have drama with a relationship or something, And you go, oh, my God, I hate this drama. Do you really, honestly, mm -hmm. true? <laughs> Maybe ask yourself the opposite question. Truth, did I have fun shouting at this person, being mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, I loved it. Okay. Then you get out of judgment. You acknowledge, okay, I chose this. And then mm -hmm. you can choose the pragmatics and go, okay, you know what? This is actually boring. This is not creating the life and the world I would like to create. Let's choose ease again. Let's use the yeah. tools. Let's be the tools. What else is possible here? Like you asked. And then in three days, a new possibility showed up. That's magic. Yeah. That's magic. That's yeah. magic. Yes. Can Definitely. you tell me, can you tell something more about this? Uh, because I think that uh, you are one of the person that uh, most, most, more of the time tell uh, be the tools, not use, not only, not not. You don't say not, don't use the tools. You say not only use the tools, be the tools, because it is something different. Can you tell something more about this? Because this is for me is pragmatic, totally. Um, great question. I, I can do my best to find words for this because um, a lot of this is not like so much puttable in words. Yes. But like if you if you let's say you learn a you learn a modality to create change for people's bodies or coaching modality and most of them are about here are the strategies here are the tools do this when the person has this problem do this when this person has that problem do this and then you just like okay and then you walk you sit with the client and And then you say, and they say, yeah, I have this and this problem. And you're like, oh, yeah, in the textbook, in my education, I learned I should do this. Yeah. And then you're in your head going, la, 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 la. You, you say whatever you need to say. Yes. But that only can have this effect. You know, if you, because you separate yourself from what you're doing, from what you're saying. You just, yeah. you know, you're just like being a robot, delivering something. You're not involving you. You know, you're not involving you. But if you, let's say, walk your talk, if you use these tools for you, if you use them to create something different for you and your life, by the choice to go, you know what? I know I can be like everyone else and make it difficult because everyone here in this world loves to make everything complicated and difficult. They think it okay. has a value. They think, oh, my God, I'm so much better because I make it difficult. Yeah. And it, there's a big value there. But if you go, you know what? Every one of you have fun with your difficulty and joy. I'm going to choose ease. You don't yes. have to like it. You, uh, it doesn't matter what you think about it. But I will now be the leader of my life and make a different choice and actually choose ease. Thank you very much. Yes. If you're interested, come and ask me. I'm happy to share it with you. Or yes. come to my sessions or come to my classes or read my books or whatever. But if not, I'm going to East Town. I'm going to more East. You know? Yes. Whether you think I'm 
a wrong person for this or I'm not getting it or whatever you think I'm going. And that's yes. like that. That's where it starts, where you be what you teach, you know. And so many people, so many coaches, like they teach you about ease, but they don't live ease. You know, they don't be ease. So if you don't be ease and live ease and just talk about it, you can have that effect. Yes. But if you be it, if you live it, if you actually have the vulnerability of not needing to be perfect as a practitioner, as a coach, as a therapist, as a parent, if you don't have to need to be perfect, if you go, you know what, I also have stuff going on, but I'm choosing to be vulnerable enough to not needing to have the image of being perfect or the image of having the answers. I'm actually here to change, use those tools that I'm preaching and using them on myself, the same tools that I'm teaching, using it on me, and that's have the vulnerability point. and receiving it and being it. That's where you yeah. be it. And then you you can have so much more impact with the clients, your kids, anybody around you that you're working with. Because yes. they feel it. They sense it. They don't only need your words of the tools. They can feel the energy of what you are actually living and they go wow thank you that's an example and ex an inspiration for them where they can go oh that's how the energy the the person shows up when they're actually living it and being it and then yes. when you word the tools also that's just a bonus that's just an extra yes. because you're putting words to it and you're showing them oh you in this situation when you have this problem you can do this da da da, da. But that's just the extra from what they can sense because you live it, because you be it. And that's yes. something we talk a lot with the pragmatic practitioners. That's yes. That not just talking about it, but living it and and yes. not to be perfect when you work with clients. Because yes. oftentimes when you have an if you in your own life have an issue that you just work through and you changed it for you. Oftentimes, you have clients come to you with the same problem, and then yes. you can help them. You just went through it. Yes. It's magic. Yes. Yes. The more yes. you develop, the more you move forward, the more I clients know. attract because they can feel, they can smell, they can yes. sense this person has something for me. I don't know what, yes. I don't think about it. I just know I have to go to her, I have to have a session with her. So you, yeah. you actually open up for more clients if you choose to become more and be more. I love it. Oh, yes. Susanna, I love to hear you. <laughs> is, is it something about uh, to create connection and not relation? Yeah, create connection, yeah. not relationship. And a lot of people have relationships with their clients. Yes. which is limiting what you can create with your client rather than being yeah. having the, the connection that you talk about. And that's a big topic that, you know, would need more time to talk about, but you can just for you go, where am I doing relationship with my clients, which is actually creating distance and ownership rather than the mutual contribution. Yes. You know? So just notice when you're doing it and ask, okay, how else can I be with them? If I wouldn't do relationship with my clients, with my patients, with my customers, how else could I be with them that is bigger, that's that's more spacious, that's easier for me and them? Yes, that's the point. Yeah. And this is for me, is it was the uh, revolution in this, in my job uh, with the pragmatic practitioner, because, you know, we, we are teaching uh, to be, uh, to have a distance, uh, uh, a safety distance uh, from patients. Uh, uh, if you are a teacher from your uh, um, kids, uh, yeah, students, uh, if you are a boss or leader from uh, the people who work with you, we are teaching to create distance and uh, you know what? What I realize is that the distance doesn't match for me. I I can be in other ones with distance, uh, but when I want to, when I create something, uh, what uh, works for me is to connect. Yes, to that. connect uh, with with myself, uh, with my clients, uh, with the 
with the situation, with the the center, new new center. So that's the that, magic for me. That's exactly what you say. What we've been taught in most therapy set, uh, educations and coaching and teachers is like disconnect. Here yes. is your student, your client, your customer, and here's you. And yeah. you think you have to protect yourself. Like that's what they say, protect yourself. It's like, from what? From their energy? But if I have to protect myself, I have to use a lot of energy to put up barriers and I make their stuff more strong, more important than, yes. than what I'm capable of. Like I think that their problems are bigger than me. What? That's insane. It's like, no, don't protect yourself. Receive. Receive because yes. then everything can grow and you can never, like, anxiety and depression, whatever they have going on, it's it's not a problem for you unless you have the point of view that it is a problem for you. But that's yes. just a point of view, not a reality. That's just in your head. It's not there energetically or otherwise. So yes. there's so much. Yeah. So there's so much that is different in how you can create and facilitate clients, customers, students. And so this whole pragmatic practitioner program is there to teach you how else can I, you know, have ease in the world, be pragmatic, use the tools for me, and also use them in my business, use them with my customers, use them with my clients. However you work with people, it's really for my everyone. Family. Every for my family, it's for every profession. Yeah. However, you work yeah. with people, applying those tools with your employees, with your children, with your parents, kids, your your you, whatever patients, to make it work, to make it easier, to make it easier for you as a practitioner, but also to achieve more, to be more efficient with the change you can create. And it's so simple. Yeah like really simple tools that everyone can learn. And uh, we have now pragmatic practitioners all around the world who are, you know, official pragmatic practitioners and they use it in their sessions, in their businesses, in whatever they do. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to more. And and Massimiliana is, is, is contributing to creating the next pragmatic practitioner class, which is a three-day class. Yeah. Join either in Italy, in school, in Florence, beautiful Italy, or yes. online, you know, so from your home. Yes. And uh, it's it's really an education that I always wanted for me. Um, I was looking for this where you can also include you, have easy pragmatic tools, be creative, not just follow something that someone says you should do. And uh, it's just really wonderful what that creates. So three days to have an education that that you don't get anywhere else. And I'm really looking forward to this in October. And yeah. I'm sure we put the link here um, in the in somewhere. <laughs> From 25 to 27, and uh, in Florence, in a beautiful venue, really a very beautiful venue. And uh, we have uh, a very nice time because uh, we will work uh, from morning to the first uh, uh, in the first time in the afternoon yes yeah yeah yes so people can have also time to visit florence uh, or to rest after a pp class <laughs> it is incredible so i have done uh, two class with you and uh, pp class and other class uh, but uh, for me is uh, really an amazing experience uh, because it's, it is not only about uh, my job, it's about uh, how you can really create your life uh, and your living in an easy, funny, pragmatic uh, and in magic way. So don't come to this class if you want to do pragmatic, <laughs> don't come. <laughs> If you love drumming, yes, we, we will be in Italy. And I know because I'm Italian that uh, we love uh, a lot to be dramatic, yes. And uh, yeah. the Latin culture is uh, oh, Deus, Neos, Dio, Mio, bam, 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 bam. But if you have a nice gelato, like if you have a nice, you know, cappuccino with it, can be yes. fun. Yes, 
Okay. Yes, that's the point. So we are also able to really live a, a life in a very totally different way. So if you like a dramatic way, don't come to this class. But <laughs> if you would like to have a funny, funny, funny life and also an amazing experience with you, then, yes, because uh, I, I what what you say before about the B the things that you are talking about, uh, for me, you are really this person. Yes. And uh, I remember the first time I saw you lie in person, I said, you are the same person as you are in the video. So the energy that uh, you are talking with the tools is the same energy that you are when you facilitate. So it's a big contribute, this class, really. So come in Florence uh, in October, yes? And yes, there's a manual. Somebody asks, is there a manual? Oh. Yes, there's a big manual. Big it's manual. More like, in it's more like a, it's more like a book. <laughs> yes, yes. In many languages, yes. There is in an Italian language. and many other languages. Yes, there is a manual. Yes. And it is an amazing manual. I have the one in English, and I would like to see the one in Italian, yes. And it is a really simple tools, pragmatic tools, uh, and you can really be these tools uh, everywhere and in each moment. So thank you so much, Susanna, and thank you so thank much you. to have chosen to come in Italy. Yeah. Thank <laughs> this you is so much for doing this. Really. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Italy a lot. I love it there. Mwah. And thank you so much for 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 um, creating this with, and thank you all of the translators. Thank you so, yes. so, 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 so much for so, translating so, this so. with him. Kissing you all over. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome to join us. Bye, everyone. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. And I don't know how to end the stream, or maybe I do. There. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>